Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at the H818HW Hero Space Explorer drone from Flytech or Helicute. Uh, this drone is a Wi-Fi 720p HD streamer that has auto takeoff, auto land, altitude hold, and plenty of other neat features. So let's check it out. Now the drone comes in this neat white box here. It says Hero Space Explorer RC Quadcopter, and it shows all of its features here at the bottom, such as six axis gyro, auto trim, uh, auto hover, headless mode, so on and so forth. And um, this model was originally from Helicute. This is the H818HW, but uh, for some reason, uh, now Flytech, I guess, has ownership of this uh, model because the um, Helicute brand has now been overwritten by this Flytech sticker. So um, it's interesting to find out uh, the story behind that. But here on the side, uh, we have the QR code for the uh, 0.3 megapixel Wi-Fi app. But if you have the uh, 1 megapixel uh, 720p, here is the um, QR code for that app. And it still uses the Helicute app, even though this is now relabeled or rebranded for Flytech. Um, so this back portion shows the uh, white version of the quadcopter. And here's the black version. And right here at the bottom, we have the two models and the different variations. There's the 818HC, 818H, and we have the 818HW. Uh, 720p or VGA so very cool setup here so now let's uh, open her up and see what's inside here so we'll open her up and set it out so right here we have the um, plastic portion on the inside of the box here we have the instruction manual and that has also been rebranded with the uh, Flytech sticker. As you can see underneath it says Helicute. Um, so that's interesting. Here is the uh, quadcopter, very cool. So we have the black version here. Here's the um, transmitter. Here are the uh, propellers and um, screwdriver. Here are the um, landing legs or landing talons because they look kind of like talons and with the screws so you have to install that here are the um, propeller guards and for some reason i'm not sure if it was uh, just added into the package or maybe it is part of this flytech version of this but i have a uh, spare battery um, there's one inside the quadcopter and here's a spare one so interesting to find out if uh, that was just with this order or if they all come with a spare battery because that's pretty cool so in any case we're going to organize all this and take another last look at the contents taking a last look at the contents of the box we have the quadcopter itself it's 3.7 volt 1200 milliamp lipo battery and as mentioned earlier this package came with an additional battery we have its three landing legs or landing talons with two screws each for a total of six screws. It's micro USB charge cable for the battery, four propeller guards, a screwdriver, four spare propellers, the instruction manual, and the transmitter. So that's essentially the contents of the box. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now taking a closer look at the drone, this is a very unique looking drone, very cool looking. Um, with its orange and black scheme. Uh, there is a version of this that is in uh, white and blue, but this one is the orange and black. And right here you could see it's um, HD 720p camera. There is a 0.3 megapixel version of this drone, but this one is the, uh, I believe, one megapixel version. And this is a brush motor quadcopter. And the propellers are kind of interesting. They're kind of like wavy type uh, propellers. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you can remove them and add them with these screws here on the side. These um, 
end tips there are just for display and you have to install the little uh, landing legs or talons and there are three of them in total and you put two in the front and one here in the back and as you could see the one in the back has kind of like this hook and I'm not sure if that's meant to latch onto things or grab onto things but uh, it is kind of an interesting design there and you can see here on the side it says uh, hero space explorer and it does have very good lights here at the bottom two red in the front and two green in the back so that's pretty cool so very good for a, a night flying or for good orientation and right here in the back we have its battery bay which also has um, a slot for the SD card so let's open that up so here's its battery bay here's the uh, battery that it has and this is a uh, 3.7 volt 1200 milliamp lipo battery and you charge it using a micro usb cable that it comes with right here on the um, top and as it's charging you will see a green light right here and when it's done charging that light goes out and uh, it takes about 90 minutes to charge and you get a good solid flight time on this of about 12 minutes so that's pretty cool um, looking into the um, battery bay a little bit right here you can see its SD card slot so you can put an SD card right there at the bottom right here and you can see some of the internals there and it has a pretty uh, spacious battery bay but just enough to really house this um, proprietary battery comfortably but overall a good quality build here um, with an interesting shape and design uh, one more note here uh, at the very bottom there is the on off button so you would push that and then you can turn on the quadcopter and as you can see it's very well lit even there at the top um, but uh, yeah a good uh, weight to it a good size uh, overall, just a very neat looking, very interesting looking quadcopter. Um, and as you can see, the camera is fixed, so you really can't tilt it. So that's a little unfortunate, but um, it, it does take a clear picture and uh, doesn't seem to get uh, much of the propellers in the shot. Uh, but yeah, just a very cool looking, very neat quadcopter. So now let's take a closer look at its transmitter now taking a closer look at the transmitter this is a very comfortable gamepad type transmitter and it does require four AAA batteries in order to operate four AAA batteries and you have to uh, screw the case back on now briefly going over the controls here at the bottom here we have the on off switch to turn it on like so and then you have your left throttle stick and your right rudder stick and these joysticks also act as buttons so if you push down the left throttle stick that is your rates of speed button so you push that down once you'll hear one beep that'll be the slowest rate and you can push it up to three times and hear three beeps to go to the fastest rate uh, this one right here on the right is for flips so you would push that down here a sequence of beeps and you can push the throttle in the direction you want the aircraft to flip but unfortunately due to the size of the aircraft or maybe due to its round shape uh, the flipping operation has been disabled on this quadcopter so um, that cannot be used now the rest of these keys here are your directional trims uh, for the exception of these two here and this one here at the top is your headless mode and this one right here is your one key return and this button right here at the upper left that's your uh, button to initialize the motors so you would press that and it will put the motors in idle and start and if you long press it it'll do an emergency shut off of the motors and right here at the upper right, that's your camera and video button. So a short press will take a picture and a long press will start shooting video. 
and you can long press again to uh, stop taking the video. So that's essentially it for the controls. Um, unfortunately, they're really not labeled, as you can see. So um, you, you have to read the manuals to really get the um, understanding of the controls because they're not labeled. Um, but um, that's essentially it there. You do have a space here for a mobile device that you can put in there. And it's quite spacious, but uh, definitely not enough for a, um, a tablet or anything like that. But it can hold a uh, pretty substantial sized uh, phone right there. So that's essentially it for the transmitter. Uh, it does have a good range of about 60 to 100 meters. And uh, now we're going to uh, set it up for a first flight uh, using the app. Now setting the quadcopter up for its first flight is pretty straightforward. Uh, once you've inserted a fully charged battery into the quadcopter along with your SD card, um, you would first turn it on here at the bottom by pushing this on off button. So you would turn it on. And once you see it light up and blink like that, you would turn on the transmitter like so. And now you have to bind them both. So you put the left throttle stick up and down until it's bound and you should see the lights go solid. At that point, uh, you could do a couple of uh, calibrations of the gyros. Um, one, you could push uh, both sticks down and to the right until the quadcopter blinks to calibrate the gyros. So you would do that. And until it starts blinking, now make sure that it's on the ground uh, level uh, while it's not moving and it's flat and then I'm not sure if this calibration does the same thing but you can move both sticks down and to the left and it should also do a calibration there perhaps that's uh, another trim calibration as well so that's essentially it once you've uh, done all your uh, calibrations and binding now you can enter the app so Let's go into the app right now. Now, just before launching the app, you wanna enter your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings first and look for an entry called Helicute 720p with a serial number. And you wanna to connect to that. And initially there is no default Wi-Fi password. And um, once you connect to that, uh, you would launch this app right here, which is called Helicute 720. Um, in the iOS and Android app stores. Now, if you do have the 0.3 megapixel version of this quadcopter, I believe there's a different app. It might be uh, just Helicute instead of the Helicute 720. But in any case, once you launch the Helicute app, you are greeted with this intro screen. And there are some settings that you could set here. And there's also some instructions on how to use the app as well. But primarily you wanna start out right here where it says play. So once you go into here, right away you should get a Wi-Fi FPV feed from the quadcopter that will go somewhere around 50 to 100 meters in distance. But um, looking at the app just a little bit here, this will take you back to the main menu this will take a picture and a video, and this will go into your photo album. And then if you want to uh, fly the quadcopter with just your mobile device, because the transmitter is optional, um, you have several virtual controls here, so you can turn them on here, and um, you can change your rates here. I think it's 30, 60, and 100. You can fly this using the accelerometer of the phone. So if you tilt the phone, the quadcopter will fly in that direction. You have your 360 flips, your um, auto land, auto takeoff, your trims here, your left throttle stick, right rudder stick. Um, you can do this waypoint mode that you can draw a little pattern there and the um, aircraft will fly in that pattern. And then right here, you um, can flip the uh, video feed if you want. You can also uh, split the screen if you want to put this in um, 
uh, FPV type goggles and um, you can calibrate the gyros with that button and enter headless mode with that uh, icon right there so that's essentially it for the app and uh, now we're ready to fly and see how she performs Thank you.